me. No. Me either. <laughs> this is intimidating as hell. This is uh, pretty intimidating. <laughs> First time. Yeah, well, you got a cool too. I'm a fifth wheel virgin. <laughs> I keep wanting to look in this mirror, which does me no good. No. You can use your size. I'm gonna have to try to test these brakes because this dude is not getting out of the damn way. Oh. Jesus Christ. First time testing the brakes. You don't want to pull right out in front of me and stopped. He's lucky they worked good. <laughs> I don't know if I would have trusted pulling out in front of me. He had plenty of time to just go, too. Yeah, he's... Yeah, but he didn't want to hit the bump hard. Well, he about got more than the bump. Alright, well, very nervous. But we got it off the lot. That's <laughs> better than we did last, last weekend, so... <laughs> made a couple of turns and verified that the slot that the back of the fifth wheel ain't gonna hit the back of the cab so slider hitch is doing what it's supposed to do so that's good so we get into Columbus um, it's been an easy ride so far I got a couple of areas that I'm concerned about when we get to where we're storing the, the fifth wheel there's like a low hanging electrical line it's out in a rural area so on the way out there there's a low hanging electrical line that hopefully it probably looks a lot lower than it actually is. I'm, I'm sure we'll clear it, but I was concerned about that. And then of course the turn getting in. We're storing it at a friend's house and the turn in to me feels narrow and it's gated so it has poles on both sides. They've been pushed out um, three foot from where they used to be and they had a fifth wheel parked there before, but we'll see how it goes. Um, once we get there, I'll show you the area that we had to go through and let you know if we made it in or not. <laughs> But uh, so far so good. Uh, there was a little snafu, um, which we didn't record because we were in a snafu. Uh, when we were at the dealer, we were practicing hitching, unhitching, hitching, unhitching, just so I could get comfortable with that. And so we unhitched, uh, we went to lunch, we came back, and first time hitching by myself, um, which I learned a lesson really quickly on these slider hitches, is you have to be dead on, straight, when you're hooking up. If you hook up even at a slight angle, it, it, it dorks it up and I dorked it up um, we didn't get any footage of that but um, we keep talking about wanting to keep keep it real and sharing the struggles and uh, so in the video it looks like hey we clicked on and we drove here and there's no problems and stuff but there was that we didn't get the, the footage of that but there was a little bit I had to have the guy come back out help me get it unhooked because uh, I dorked it up but now uh, I think we learned better on how to how to get it straight lined up and uh, Future. So once we get out there, we'll show you where we're set up. I promised I'd show you guys the, the narrow passage of the driveway for when we come in. So I wanted to show you this. Uh, this was one of my concerns when we were pulling in the fifth wheel. So I wanted to show it to you and see what you think. Uh, whether you think it's a, a tight squeeze or not. I say tight, but I don't think it was that tight. It was about, we had about a foot on each side uh, when it came down to it. So that looks like I was kind of a little more concerned uh, than I needed to be. But um, once we got it in, that was the hard part was backing it into the spot. Actually turning it in here wasn't that difficult. So check it out. So this is the road we came down. And so I came down this way and kind of pulled it out as far as I could over into the into the dirt area and then uh, had to swing it into here uh, so you see the posts 
on both sides there's a ditch on this side you can't really see and then it falls off pretty sharp on this side but then they got the big posts on each side here and then it wraps kind of turns that way in there so i had to turn this way i had to make sure my back end was clear this post come out there and you can see the the marks right there are around the tree came back up this way and then backed it that way um it sounds a lot easier than i just made it sound uh, it was actually a lot harder than what i just made it sound because it took me like yeah i see all the marks in the yard but it took me like freaking a long time to get it back into the spot